Google Apps for iPad. Get the most out of them. This includes Google Drive, Google Docs, Google Sheets, and now Google Slides, plus Google Search. Why so many? Google Drive is for organizing, folder creation, uploading photos or videos, sharing, and more. Docs is for creating docs, plus offline editing. Sheets create spreadsheets and offline editing. Slides will be coming soon for creating presentations, hopefully also with offline editing. Search for access to other services and searching even with your voice. Each app requires you log in. You will log in to each app with your username at students.da.org. Google Apps is always your username at students.da.org. Each app has settings. If you tap in the top left corner by the three lines, you'll see the settings. Settings is the small gear. Also, here is what is starred on the device and actually a way to open Google Drive. Google Drive, used to organize by creating folders, uploading photos or videos, or even using the camera. You can even make a new document and a new spreadsheet, and probably soon in the future, a new presentation. In the Google Drive app, if you press on the circle with the eye, it will open up the details where you can see how to share, remove, move, star, rename, and actually who has access. Notice the folders with the silhouettes. That tells you that those folders are being shared. Google Docs app. New doc, you simply click on the plus sign. You can view in icon mode by pressing on the grid. You access the settings under the three lines, and again you press on the I for more information under the details. Google Sheets, very similar, plus sign for new sheet, view in icon mode or grid view, access the settings, press the information to show details. Google Slides app, very similar to the other ones, new slides, the plus sign, you can view in icon mode, three dots give you settings, you can press the information circle to show details, and you can put a checkbox in the keep on device for offline access. Google Search app, you can do voice search, you can click to get apps, once you're in apps, you can use it to edit Google Sites. Tip, in the search window, simply search for sites, and that will allow you to edit your portfolio. Notice though, some services are not available through our Google Apps.